today i shall be talking on something very very different at the end of this talk i am sure you will realize that life is more important than just becoming an engineer a doctor a scientist politician or anything like that now you may wonder as a teacher why am i doing this first thing a job of a teacher is not just to come take some classes and go home teaching is the mother of all professions it is our most important and moral duty to bring about positive changes in the students we encounter i would most humbly request you to listen to this video in a very quiet place till the very end there is a very good reason why you are not seeing me in this video you have no logo of graphic era no subscriber etc also for this video the likes and dislikes button is disabled although you will be free to comment once you watch the video for a an answer to why i have done it like this for only this particular video please wait till the very end i will give your answers now what i will do is let me first start with the question okay including myself all of us will try to answer this question i am sure that almost all of us have someone as our favorite hero and heroine in bollywood so if you see on the next screen you can see a number of bollywood heroes and heroines shown so this is the first screen there will be one more screen after this okay so you can look at this screen for a few seconds choose your hero or heroine from this screen or i will show you the next screen you can see one more hero or heroine and then make a choice keep your choice in mind at the end i am going to ask you to choose and let me know your answer you will be given an opportunity to change your mind about who the hero or heroine is according to you okay now not all the hero or heroine you choose may be in this picture just pause this video for a few seconds to finalize the choice of your hero and heroine write it down in a paper and take a look at it at the very end all right i believe by now you must have made a choice of your favorite hero and heroine all right now take a look at the photo which is come up on your screen make an effort to identify this gentleman in the photo i am very sure almost nobody or a hardly handful of students may be able to recognize this gentleman i do not expect the majority or in fact anyone to know about him let me just give you a brief idea about him the gentleman in your picture is sri jaswant singh rawat ji who was born on 19th august 1941 to sri guman singh rawat at village baryu in podi gadwal district of uttarakhand jaswant singh joined the indian army on 19th august 1960 at the age of 19 years Jaswant Singh Rawat is still serving in the Indian Army in the Gadwal Rifles. Now I will tell you a little more about his story. In the war fought with China in 1962 when China attacked us India was very very poorly prepared. In the battle of Nuranang that is in November 1962 China attacked India in Arunachal Pradesh. There was no army there. Gadwal rifles were sent there. They had basically very little or no weapons. They were wearing your PT or canvas shoes instead of the typical army shoes. In fact, the situation was so bad, the troops were asked to withdraw from there. 
in 1962 in the indo china war india suffered very very badly but still we have one very story to be very very proud of there are two versions to this story i will first give you the version of the local people because they were in that particular area there was no good communication and other than the local people not many would really know what was going on so what happened according to the local people is jaswant singh rawat ji did not leave his post and decided to single handedly fight the big chinese army because the situation was so bad the troops were asked to withdraw from there according to the local story he was said to be assisted by two local monpa girls named sela and nora what they did is they put guns at various places in such a manner that the chinese were made to believe that there were many many soldiers at that place and what rifleman jaswant singh rawat along with sela and nora did was they used to run at all the different places and fire at the enemies this attack was troubling the japanese sorry the chinese a lot they were having no idea about the size of the indian army but to jaswant ji's bad luck the person who was supplying food to jaswant ji was caught by the chinese and he revealed all the details of rifleman jaswant singh rawat ji and his two helps sela and nora the chinese army got very angry using a grenade sela was killed as per another version in order to avoid capture sela jumped off from the mountain edge to avoid getting captured by the chinese in this battle for the nation even nora was killed by the chinese force it is said that the brave indian soldier jaswant singh ji killed a very large number of chinese soldiers even with his rifle now when the chinese got an idea that it was not a very big force there but a small single soldier holding the post they got extremely angry and decided to retaliate with very anger and vengeance in the battle between the chinese troops jaswant singh ji was totally or numbered and realizing that he is going to be captured it is said that he shot himself the chinese were so angry and hated this indian soldier that they chopped off his head and took it with them later when this war ended that is a cease fire took place between india and china the chinese army were so amazed by his courage that they returned sorry they returned the head of the soldier back to the indian army along with the brass bust in honor of this brave soldier the people of the army and the locals still believe that rifleman jaswant singh still guards that place in spirit and keeps guiding the indian soldiers in his dreams he is in fact the only soldier who has been promoted to the rank of major general after his death his salary is credited every month into an account most interestingly he is even given leave on various occasions there is a temple in his name okay so this temple in his name as you see okay soldiers bow to him and perform duty afterwards the post is named as jaswant gard all his belongings there are kept in a memorial place his clothes are pressed boots are polished food is kept for him leave is granted for him he is in fact the only person ever ever to get a promotion even when he is physically not present to honor him the housing project of jaswant nagar in dehradun has been named after rifleman jaswant singh rawat ji in his honor now what i will do is i will also just give you a very brief note about the army version when they gave him the medal when the troops of gadwal rifles were given a command to come back from the battle of nuranang 
A 21-year-old sepoy along with two people refused to leave the battleground. It was the very very last phase of war in 1962 and the army units facing the enemy were struggling with shortage of people, shortage of weapons. On 17th November, rifleman Jaswant Singh Rawat Ji's battalion was subjected to repeated Chinese assaults using a Chinese medium machine gun. Located at a very vantage point, close to the company, that means their battalion, which was proving very dangerous to them. Jaswan Singh Ji, along with Lance Naik Trilok Singh Negi Ji, Rifleman Gopal Singh Gusai, decided to deal with the threat and went after the Chinese medium machine guns. Rifleman Jaswan Singh Ji, along with his comrades, using their best training or common sense or guts or glory crawled in the cold winter in the snow towards the bunker housing the medium machine gun. After approaching within 12 meters from the medium machine gun bunker, rifleman Jaswan Singh Ji threw grenades at the bunker, killing a number of Chinese soldiers and capturing a medium machine gun. Rifleman Jaswan Singh Ji is said to have taken the median machine gun and began crawling back towards the Indian part but was to his bad luck shot by the Chinese automatic fire when he was just very near the Indian border. Rifleman Jaswan Singh Ji was martyred but his daredevil action silenced the MMG group and a major threat was neutralized. This actually changed the course of the battle. Eventually, the Chinese went back, suffered a loss of 300 odd soldiers. Rifleman Jaswan Singh Ji was awarded the Mahavir Chakra for his exceptional bravery, unyielding fighting spirit, and supreme sacrifice. In fact, in the humiliation of the 1962 Indo China War, the four Gadwal rifles, or in fact, it was the only, only battle and the only army unit in 1962 to win a honor and that honor was for the battle of Nuranang. Thanks to the bravery of these great men, Chinese could not capture Assam or Arunachal Pradesh. Now, I am done with the story. I am going to show you what did we learn from this. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to ask you some questions. Very first question now is, according to you, who is your hero now? So, this video I am recording on October 2nd. So, if you remember our heroes in the first and second screen, on this day of October 2nd, if I had asked some of them, what is October 2nd? Most likely their answer would have been, today is a dry day, sir. We don't get alcohol or mal nahi milta. These are our so-called heroes whose conversation is Maal hai kya? Yes, please. Now, what they are not understanding is once you indulge in a drug taking, the money used is used to fight against the nation by funding terrorism and so on. If you are taking drugs and dealing with money, you are no different than the traitors Jai Chand and Mir Jafar. Drug taking is no different as being a traitor to this nation. Most of the news and you all are attracted to by all trivial things in life. Like some hero or heroine just is going for a walk, going to a restaurant. Is this really important or the stories like what I told you is important? Now a word about Bollywood heroes. You may assume I am angry with anyone or all of them or I hate them. In fact, not at all. There are true, true heroes in those first pictures. For example, during our recent COVID lockdown, Sonu Sukhji did the work of what God would have done if he was visible. So not all of them are bad or irresponsible, but a good number of them think they are about the nation and the law. I feel very bad and sad 
that they are role models to the younger generation and they should realize their responsibilities number 1 number 2 anyone can make mistakes we are all human but where they are wrong is they need to accept they have done something wrong and try to change themselves because using that message a lot of people will also change their lives we all all humans we make mistakes accept it face the consequences we indians have a very big heart and i am very sure we will forgive them but by trying to lie dodge and thinking that they are trying to fool us they may be right in front of the law but there is one law above all of us the god's law we should be speaking truth for that law i still pray for them that let them change for the better i feel particularly bad for one actor because i met her father when i was a young child of 7 8 years he is one of the greatest persons in india and today i feel very very bad for him so i just pray to god to give him strength to bear this difficult times and also his child to turn out to the better the point number this video is my tribute to all the brave defense personnel who sacrifice their life so that i and you may lead an enjoyable life why i am talking about the defense personnel is defense forces are one of the very few things left in this country to be proud of and now the border situation is also not too great we need to understand that a country that does not respect its soldiers is guaranteed to fail a soldier represents the ultimate love for his country now my humble request some suggestions wherever possible if you are traveling in a train especially soldiers i have seen travel in places where they stand or sleep on boxes all night please try to accommodate them if possible very very meet them warmly greet them give them priority in a queue treat them with respect give them the right of the way the unfortunate part of life is whether we like it or not soldiers at a young age lose their life defending the country to help us but they have got very young children newly married wife sometimes who have not even delivered if possible when you have money please make an effort to contribute to the national defense fund as it was set up during pulwama i am saying this with conviction because i also did a very small contribution based on my ability after pulwama listen to their pain listen to their stories they suffer from a lot of tension there is something called as a post traumatic stress disorder the reason is extremely challenging conditions working in the field at 1920 when we are having the best times of our life a soldier is sacrificing his life for us so that we may live our life in all glory make an effort to support them on all platforms now you have realized that you don't need to be an engineer you don't need to be a doctor all of us can be a hero in some ways do not wait to be a hero grab the chance discover the hero with the new my humble request here please do not write any comments mere meant to hurt our unity and oneness treat the people from north east with love and respect they are as much as indian as we are most most importantly fight for peace so that we do not leave our, lose our beloved fauji ayas now let me try to ask you some questions as well as answer the questions you must be wondering why my face is not shown in this video this must be possibly the only video i am going to record where my face is not visible the first thing is i wanted you to focus on the video and the message i am merely the messenger here also i would not have wanted you to notice my emotions rahul ji is such a great man i did not feel comfortable to be in the same frame as him i am nowhere near this great man to be in the same picture as him now 
In this video, I have also disabled likes and dislikes. Okay. Even a single dislike would really hurt me very badly. If all my videos get only dislikes, it would not affect me a bit. But if this one got even a single dislike, it would really hurt me a lot. Now to answer a very trivial question based on the quiz at the beginning of this video. My favorite heroine is Sri Devi Ji. Okay, if you want to know how great an actress Sri Devi Ji is, please watch the movie Mr. India. And my favorite hero is the one and only Govinda. Now, what I would suggest is, I would suggest read the fascinating story of the one and only immortal Jaswan Singh Rawat Ji by taking a look at the links in the video description section below. My deepest gratitude is to the, all the different information sources for providing me valuable information of this unbelievable hero without whom which this video would not have been possible. Now, I would like to bow my head and salute Jaswan Singh Rawatji. But before signing off on this video, I would like to State a line from the movie Braveheart based on a story written by a Scottish author named William Wallace. What is the truth of life? All of us are going to die. Every man dies. But very, very few men really live their lives. I want to live your lives to the fullest. I am feeling very very glad and proud to be an Indian and I want you to feel the same. With this, Jai Hind!